en todo el mundo como días. Yo soy tu maestra. Escuchen. Tú. Siéntense. Ay, just me. Hi guys. All right, so today um it was requested that I further talk about, you know, those of you guys who are planning to move out. This is how I got out of that hellhole. I uh, tried to dress for the part today wearing a blazer. You know, when I was little, I wanted to be a teacher. But then my mom killed my dreams. Oh, why do you want to be a teacher? I, they don't get paid much. Thank you for educating our youth. No, I used to, like, I would always be very bored. I would set up my garage as if it were like a classroom and I'd talk to myself. All right, so I wanted to talk about, like, you know, the steps that you can take to moving out. Like, back in high school, I didn't really like high school, so like freshman year, I had this friend and we would always ditch school. We would occasionally ditch school, like we would just like hop the fence. We'd see the yard duty yelling, hey! And we would just book it. Such a great role model, Jermaine. Um, to get on the topic of moving. Moving. What does that mean? Oh wait, let me just do the Britney Spears move without ripping my blazer. Oops. Uh... Okay, sorry, distracted. Um, <laughs> Moving doesn't always mean that you're financially independent. It just means that you're going away from the nest and ready to fly. If your rent is getting paid by somebody else, A, your parents are paying for it because they're basically paying for you to get the fuck out. And B, sugar daddy anyone? What moving means to me is basically retiring from your parentals, not to be your servants anymore. According to me, there's three reasons why young people move out. <coughs> Visual illustrations. You have annoying, nagging parents. And perhaps a disgusting little brother here. And B, divorce. When parents make decisions, the kids suffer. Or C, you just, you know, want to be independent from your annoying mother. Like my parents didn't want me working, they just wanted me to focus on school, which is fine. But they were giving me like $7 allowances and that doesn't support my Mac addiction. So in order to save money, I was basically working like two to three jobs because I wanted to save money because I was so desperate to get out of like, move out of my parents' house. Like, if I stay there long enough, I mean, some homicide shit's gonna happen. And so I was making some kind of money, but I also had a boyfriend who was a big moocher, so don't care. So I decided to go to community college. You know, like, my parents gave me an ultimatum. I appreciate my parents, but I could never be a nurse. Like, nurse hope. Or to be a lawyer, but <laughs> I'm a bad liar. I start sweating right here. Here. Or like an engineer. I don't know jack squat about math. All I know is one plus one minus one divided by one. Where in the world am I ever gonna use geometry or trig not trigger tri 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 trigger? Exactly. I may as well just like speak tongue. Okay, you know a lot of us are off to college, and I totally admire that. I wish I would have went that route. I took a little swerve. Moving may be an exciting concept, but it's not always fun. You know, I know a lot of us who are young think that moving out, oh, hell yeah, house parties, hell. I get to stay up all night, eat cake and milk that. When you're living on your own, shit gets real. Like reality really does sink in. Cause now you have like, amounts of responsibilities. Moving out means you're gonna have to do your own laundry, you're gonna have to cook your own food, you're gonna be your own cleaning lady, you're your own plumber. But if you're smart and you know you use your boyfriend as your houseboy or your bitch. First of all, finish your education, whether it's just up to high school or much more and beyond. You need to get a job, whether that's a job, two, three, four jobs, to maintain, to sustain your yourself. Back in the day when I was young, I would ask myself, how much money do I need to save in order to move out? So I've always said to save enough money to pay for two months rent. And I know that's a little ridiculous. You know, some of us are waitresses, or we work at Blackbuster, or we work at Starbucks. We're gonna be struggling. So I would look for a full-time job if you're not going to school. And if you can't afford, afford, let's say a $1,200 apartment rent, get a roommate. And be smart about your roommate. We don't not want no serial killers. Okay, you. Number one tip: Do not move in with your boyfriend. Do not move in till he puts a ring on it. Wrong hand. Bills, bills, bills. Now let me tell you something about bills. Everything. We all have to make ends meet. However way you can do that makes you an independent, responsible person. And lastly, I would probably get a credit card. You know, we're young and we don't even have credit and that's the whole point of a credit card. You know, ask for like a small limit, like 
500. So if you're in high school right now, or you're in college, and you're ready to move out on your own, save some money, because money is the only way. I hope for those of you who are in the trial and tribulation of it all, good luck to you, and keep your head up high. So good luck to you guys. I will see you in my next video.